Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today I'm doing a review on this Magidil 5D DIY diamond painting. It's a partial drill cat and apple rhinestone embroidery for wall decoration and it was under $5. I got it for $4.99. It took a really long time to get delivered so um, a lot of these ones may come from overseas such as China and it will take maybe three to four weeks to arrive. But when it finally arrived I'm pulling it out of the packet now just showing you exactly what you get when you purchase this one. So you get a pack of tools and then a pack of all the little diamond rhinestones and they come separated by colour and then the numbers on the rhinestones correspond to the numbers that are on the actual design itself. I'll show you a bit of a close-up of that process after I've opened this up and had a bit of a look. So let's open up this packet here. Inside here it looks like you get six different colours it's a very simple kit and I totally recommend this if it's your first time ever doing a diamond painting to get one of the ones where the kit is quite basic. So this one's only got the six colours and they're all kind of similar colours so if you accidentally put the wrong one down it's not going to ruin your design. And here are the tools that you get. So you get a little bag and inside of that you have a little diamond pressing tool. You also get a little tray to hold the little diamantes in and you get a little piece of sticky so that you can make the tool a little bit more sticky if it stops being sticky. So as you can see it's a bit folded. You can try and press it out. I also recommend putting a couple of heavy books on it overnight. That will also flatten it out. It's just a bit bent from being inside the packaging. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of a close up and that's just showing the, the peel coming off of it so that it doesn't get too sticky. But I'll show you a close up of me doing some of the design. So here is a bit of a close up of this. As you can see you just use the tool to pick up one of the little plastic little dementi things and then you pop it down on the corresponding number on your artwork. So you would just pop it down say these white ones are number six so I'm putting all the white ones to correspond with the number six. I didn't film the whole process of this one because it was a quick and easy one I thought I would do it as more of a review of this particular one and if the diamondy little things stick together you can just kind of shake off the extra one and pop it down. I found this set was really really good it was really easy it came with everything that you needed to be able to do the complete diamond painting. The design itself said that it was um, 7.87 inches by 9.84 inches that's not accurate the design is just 6 by 8 it's just just a little small design perfect for a beginner perfect for your first time ever doing a di diamond painting some of them are quite intricate and quite hard I'm doing another one at the moment that's about four times the size of this and has about 11 12 different colors so it's a lot more difficult and I'll show that one in a video when it's complete but I thought I'd give you a bit of a review of this one in particular I think the little cat design is really cute it actually suits this sort of diamond painting really well having a simplistic design where it's a bit more of a stylized drawing rather than a painting or a like photo always seems to work better for these diamond designs if you have something that is quite intricate or quite detailed Detailed, the design will make him look a bit pixelated or might make it look a bit unusual. So as you can see you can go a lot faster. I was just doing it slowly just to show you but once you get the hang of it and you um, sort of get a bit of a rhythm going you can put on your favorite YouTube video or some music and just go to town completing this little design and making it all look really pretty. Another thing is you don't have to follow the um, colors that they have if you don't want to. For fun you can just swap them around a bit and it still would turn out the same design like you could swap the brown with the pink and you'd still end up with with, you know a pink nose and then maybe like brown around the ears and you always end up with heaps and heaps of these little tiny dimenti things left over so if you wanted to add them to a different artwork you definitely can just use a little bit of something like a liquidy glue like um, the craft glue or PVA glue will work perfectly for sticking these down to something and leaving the little shiny tops so it still glitters each of these little dimenti plastic I think they're made from resin are like faceted and what that means is they've sliced little edges into them and you can see that as it's sort of sparkling as I'm putting them down and that just catches the light so although it says it's a diamond painting they're not really diamond shaped they're more just round little circles with facets cut in them to catch the light 
and you can get ones that have little square diamante pieces or round ones like this one is. Both of them work very similarly and you just pop them down while watching a movie and relax. It's a very very relaxing process to complete one of these. I just recommend stretching every now and again because hunched over this might hurt your back after a while. But it is uh, a pretty outcome and it turned out really really gorgeous. I'm just showing finishing it off now. As you can see a lot of the little diamantes are a bit out of alignment with each other and if you don't really mind that you can just leave it as it is but I recommend getting um, a flat edge like a ruler and just pushing into each line to straighten them up. It's the quickest way to get them all straight and there's our last little dot right there and I've completed the design. So that's all you need to do is pop the little dots down and as you can see here it is done. The cute little kitty with the little fruit on his head. I think it's supposed to be an apple. It kind of looks like a tomato to me but he's all done and cute and what you do at the end is you just take a pair of scissors and trim off the excess around the edges and you'll end up with your pretty design which is ready for framing or for hanging up somewhere else and I'm just moving the camera so you can see the sparkle but there you go that's where I have cut it out now and straightened up all the little diamantes using a ruler so they're a lot straighter I know some of them are a bit out but it's a lot straighter than it was and I'm just going to move it towards the light just so you can see all of the glitteriness. Some of the um, diamond designs you can get have actual like clear really shiny ones that you add as accent but this one was a lot more basic. I totally recommend this one so if you're looking for a diamond painting I'll pop the link down below. This is not a sponsored video I just wanted to share this one with you because it's such a good price and it turned out really well. I hope you guys have a sunshiny day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!